I think I figured it out. How to distinguish between all of the OMAD, one meal a day versus one plate a day. And unknowingly, I did both of them to make this weight loss transformation with one meal a day slash one plate a day. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Diela Joy, and I started my weight loss journey off at 282 pounds. I lost the majority of my weight eating a one meal a day fasting schedule. I used it as a system reset, a system reset to take control of my binge eating, a system reset to promote autophagy so that physiologically I was not craving foods like sugar and I was not craving foods constantly. That is what fasting is for. It's a system reset. I made this transformation with one meal a day, and this is my overall weight loss transformation. So let's jump into one meal a day versus one plate a day. So I got introduced to this concept by a gentleman known as the Fasting Beehive. He's one of my subscribers, and he talked about one plate a day, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, this will make my life easier easier. So as you know, I've stated the different variations of OMAD. So let's think of OMAD more as time restricted eating. And we'll think of one plate a day more as the more intense version of time restricted eating with actually using one plate a day. So with OMAD, there are different variations of it. According to Dr. Mindy Pels, OMAD is fasting for 24 hours a day and eating within an hour eating window. According to other people, there are OMAD might be fasting for 23 hours a day and eating in one hour eating window. That is like one hour eating window, real OMAD. Now there's a variation of OMAD that I use to lose weight on and that is the 24 or more method. So this is fasting for 20 hours a day or more, so like 20 hours to 22 hours a day and eating within a four to two hour eating window. I like this method best, you know why? Because it's a method that teaches you how to properly eat while getting the benefits of being in ketosis because ketosis gets kicked in at around uh, studies say 13 to 15 hours, but autophagy definitely starts at 17 hours. You get that autophagy and you have enough time to practice eating because weight loss happens in the kitchen. It happens with practicing how to eat properly. And I think OMAD is the best diet to do that because you're still getting the benefits of fasting, but you're going to eat that day. And you need to practice eating healthy, blanketing your carbs with fiber. If you're doing keto OMAD, stuffing your face with vegetables and fruit, keto fruits like raspberries. So I want to get into that. You want to use these diets like one meal a day and OMAD in the keto diet to help reverse the metabolic damage. It's gonna take your body some time to reverse that metabolic damage. I would say between three to six months, depending on most people, it should do that if you do one style of metabolic healing completely. So what's metabolic healing? That could be OMAD, that could be the keto diet. The keto diet is, is a better diet for that because you're eating throughout the day because you want to practice learning how to eat throughout the day. You can do it with OMAD as well, especially if you have a lot of, a lot of metabolic da damage. So I want you to approach fasting and thinking of, of one meal a day as that way. So you're basically beginning your journey, tr training your body to just reverse the damage from all of the refined carbohydrates, all of the glucose and all of the sugar, all of the glucose spikes, all of the gut health destruction, all of the imbalance in satiety hormones and satiety skills. You're going to use that with that. And you're going to take advantage of the fat burning. So what I like about OMAD for that is that you get motivated because you're losing weight on the scale and you're getting all the benefits of healing. So you want to use these diets like that. And then eventually you want to transition off of these diets, but transition off of these diets in a way that you are in control. You want to learn how to lose weight with OMAD and you want to learn how to maintain weight without OMAD or lose weight without OMAD. You want to learn how to lose weight with fasting and you want to learn how to maintain weight. OMAD is just practicing that. Now jumping back to one plate a day. One plate a day is an extreme version of OMAD. It is OMAD. And basically where you're just eating one plate and it's gonna take you 15 minutes to maybe half an hour to eat it, depending on how slow you eat. One plate. 
one standard dinner size plate. You fill it with all the right foods, please. You fill it with lots of fats because you want to take advantage of being in uh, prolonging the autophagy. You're going to fill it with protein. And if you're eating carbs, you're going to fill it with nature's carbs. And not only that, you're going to fill that plate with fiber. The only thing that should be overflowing overflowing on your plate is vegetables, okay? Vegetables or very um, high fibrous fruits like raspberries and blueberries. That's the only thing that you may overflow on your plate. Like try to stuff in a bunch of like spinach or a bunch of arugula, your plate's gonna overflow. That's fine. But like the fats and the proteins and the carbs, that better fit on your plate. And you better be eating copious amounts of vegetables. Why? Because you want to train yourself to properly eat. So when you are transitioned off of these diets, because you can't do these diets forever, because this is what happens. People do these diets, they get so much success on their journey, and then they come off their, these diets and they don't know how to eat properly. They don't know how to um, basically control their appetite because they go back to their old habits of eating. The goal of these fasting methods, the goal of one meal a day, the goal of prolonged fasting is to correct the metabolic damage so it gives you a chance to eat properly, right? Because if you just go from like eating junk food and then trying to eat um, healthy foods and whole foods, you're gonna struggle because your satiety systems are off, your gut microbacteria is garbage, so you're gonna crave all the sugar, so it makes it hard to stay in that calorie deficit. It makes it hard to avoid, you know, having that cereal night. So this is why we fast, to get rid of all of that damage, to get our body to heal itself through autophagy, to get our body in ketosis, so you you have a chance to learn how to eat a proper diet. The worst thing you can do is fast and eat junk food. That was the worst advice I was ever given on my journey, to eat junk food while doing OMAD. Horrible advice. It's horrible advice to give anyone advice to eat junk food while eating, while being on a weight loss journey because it's the junk food. It's the refined carbohydrates that got you there in the first place. So you're just going to be back and forth and back and forth. Practice eating whole foods. So yes, that's the different variations of OMAD. One plate a day, one meal a day. Choose whatever method you like. When I first started my weight loss journey with OMAD back in 2022 at 229 pounds, I was doing one plate a day for a bit and then I transitioned to the four hour eating window because I was working out and exercising. One plate a day is good for someone who's sedentary, who doesn't work out or anything. It's a good tool. But remember, you are going to transition off of these diets and you need to practice how. I am documenting how I'm doing it right now on my journey and you want sustainable weight loss. You want to make an active and healthy lifestyle. You want to be exercising and you want to be building muscle because building muscle is going to help you raise your basal, basal metabolic rate and to improve your insulin sensitivity. We want long-term weight loss. We don't want yo-yo dieting, dieting. We don't want a year of doing prolonged fast to only screw up the next year. We want to lose the weight and keep it off in a natural, healthy way. Anyway, if you made it this far into the video, just drop in a bunch of scale emojis and I'm sending you mad love. Take care. Bye.